Who are you? I'm no one. But she is the mother of dragons. She needs true protectors, now more than ever. They shall come day and night to see the wonder born into the world again. And when they see, they shall lust. For dragons are fire made flesh. And fire is power. I cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. At the end of Season 7, Daenerys' motives change from solely concentrating on the Iron Throne to help battle against the threat of the White Walkers. It wasn't an easy choice for Danny, mainly because she was raised in Essos, along with her brother with the intention of one day regaining her family's noble place in Westeros. Along the way, Daenerys has had a guide. Not Tyrion, not Jorah, and not Varys. Another whose identity still remains a mystery yet to be uncovered in the story. Quaith, a shadowbinder from Ashai, who comes to Danny not just in person, but also in visions and pointing the way in the stars. Quaith claims to see things far and wide that have yet to happen by peering through a glass candle. Many fans have theorized how Quaith knows so much about Daenerys, like for example her experience in the House of the Undying. Listen to this quote from the books. Hear me, Daenerys Targaryen. The glass candles are burning. Soon comes the pale mare, and after her, the others. Kraken and dark flame, lion and griffin, the sun's son and the mummer's dragon. Trust none of them. Remember the undying. Focus on the last part of that quote. Remember the undying. Why would Quaith remind Danny of her time in the house of the undying? If we go back in the books and examine what happens to Danny while searching for her dragons, we see that she's in the Red Keep, approaching the throne. However, she doesn't sit on the throne. This is important because it may imply that Daenerys, the mother of dragons, isn't destined to rule Westeros. In fact, as the show approaches the final season, it seems less and less likely the Iron Throne will even matter at all. The impending war with the Night King and his army should and is her main concern for the time being. Because after her conversations with Jon Snow, as well as coming to his rescue north of the Wall, Danny knows there will be no Westeros if she doesn't help to defeat the White Walkers. Maybe this is what Quaith has been guiding Danny for all along, because she has seen what could happen to the world if the Mother of Dragons only seeks revenge for her family's demise. Almost every other person Daenerys has encountered over her long journey has expressed either interest or allegiance in her quest to take back the throne. So what makes Quaith different? Well, she is from Ashai, the same place Melisandre hails from, and similar to the masked woman, Melisandre urges Danny to help Jon Snow. These are both characters who have the ability to see events before they happen, whether the information is misinterpreted or not. If they know what is coming, i.e. the White Walkers, then of course they would try to refocus Danny's objective. With that said, what do you think? Is Quaith guiding Daenerys for a different reason than we all might have thought? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. As always, have a great day. Take care and see you soon.